Hi, this is Cheryl Phillips of Phillips Fiber Art, and this is our block for May. Let's get started. I'd like to talk to you about fabric for May's block. For this one, I used a border print, and I was so pleased with the results. So do, when you're looking at stripes, keep in mind border prints. Next, the standby, the one that I'm making my stripe sampler, the wavy. Here's one. And here's one where I put the wavy in the background, the arrow points, and the star points in red and green. So that's an interesting look. And next, I just put the stripe in the center, green on the outside. And here's another one where I've alternated stripe and the red for the arrows with a green background. By mixing and matching the elements of May's block, you can really come up with a lot of different block varieties. Now let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to our website, philipsfiberart.com, and download the May pattern. Do cut out the labels that are included in your pattern. And do you notice all your labels this month are yellow? So on the tool that you may have marked last month, you'll only be focusing on the yellow line. The fabric I've chosen for May's block is a linear design, not truly a stripe. And you notice that this linear quality is parallel to my selvage. When that's the case, I want to cut my piece one and a quarter yards long, which is 45 inches, the same as the width of my background fabric. When I cut my strips, I can treat this like a regular piece of fabric, cutting, folding it in half, cutting two layers, and cutting the strips the, the width that the pattern calls for. If you're making your May block with a more geometric stripe, go back and watch the previous videos where we talk about um, one-way and two-way stripes. This is strip set one. My label use the yellow 45 degree line with the words facing up. So I'm going to place it like this. And this is the piece that I will get. I'll cut four of these. For strip set two, I'm using the stripe. And I'm going to put the yellow on the strip set. And I will be marking with my pencil in the slots and cutting a piece that looks like this. You'll cut four of these. Now we have strip set three. We'll take our tool, read the label, yellow, with the tool down. So we want to use the yellow line and make sure that our words are facing down. So our tool will go like this. And again, we're going to mark in the slotted lines and cut that piece. And it looks like this. We're going to cut four of these. Now, if you haven't watched our previous videos, we've addressed how to mark in those lines, both in the March and the April video. This is strip set four. We're going to put, use, again, the yellow 45 degree line and our words need to be facing down. So we've got the yellow 45 degree and our words are facing down. I'm going to cut a piece that looks like this. And I've got one cut. You'll want to make four of these. Now let's see what these pieces look like together. Okay, this is what our four squedge pieces look like that we're going to put together. This will make a quarter of our block. So if we push these together, you can see I have several that are sewn together. See how those stripes, linear designs come together so nice? They don't always match perfect, but it does make an interesting kind of three-dimensional effect. Okay, here's my block sewn together. You can see that I've used a stripe for the point and a bold blue for the arrow. For the center, I'm going to use a coordinating floral print in the center. I've made another block where I've done the opposite in my colors. So I've used my linear design for the arrow and the bold blue for the points. It too will have a floral applique for the center. Now these blocks of the month that we've been doing, they don't necessarily have to all go into a sampler. You can make several and turn it into all sorts of different projects. For example, the May blocks that I just showed you with the paintbrush fabric, I decided to turn into a table runner. Well, I hope you've enjoyed May's block. 
and I look forward to seeing you again in June.